For the BTEC Tech Award and Enterprise, this is um, component three, and we're looking at the statement of comprehensive income. We're going to look at the key terms, because if you don't understand those, you won't be able to do the work. So the first key term you need to know in order to do this is sales revenue. We covered this before in break even, but again, sales revenue is the money earned by the business. And we will calculate this by the price times the amount sold. So in a pizza company, if the pizzas cost five pounds and we sold 100, our sales revenue would be 500 pounds. So that's our first term, sales revenue. The second term we're going to look at is cost of sales. Now, this is the cost of making the item, very similar to the variable cost in break even. So, again, if I was in a pizza making place, it would be the ingredients and the pizza boxes and things like that. And you can see the mushrooms, the dough and the tomatoes. So the cost of sales is the cost of making an item. We're then going to use these two terms to make a new one, and this is called the gross profit. Now, gross profit is the money you have left over after you've paid for making your item. So we will calculate it by taking the sales revenue from selling our pizzas and taking off the cost of sales, the cost of making our pizzas. Now, this money will go towards um, paying off the other expenses of the business and then hopefully for some of it to be kept as profit. We've looked at the cost of making the pizzas and now we're going to look at the other costs involved in making in having the pizzas to make. And these are called expenses and they are the other costs involved in the business. So therefore I have my pizza shop, I'm looking at things like rent and wages and advertising and insurance, lots and lots of other costs that a business will have but aren't directly related to um, making the pizzas. We've called them fixed costs before when we've done break even. The very last term we need to know is net profit. Now net profit is the reason why we calculate a statement of comprehensive income to see how much profit we have left over after all our costs have been paid. And we're going to calculate it by taking our gross profit figure and taking off expenses. That's it. Five terms to revise.